Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your girl, the Ashley Michelle, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can take your tired old synthetic wig like this and make that thing look brand spanking new. So this is the wig that I'm going to be reviving today. And as you all can see, it is a little frizzy. It's a little tangled up. So the first thing that I am gonna do is detangle this wig. And I'm gonna be using a wide tooth comb and I'm gonna start from the ends and work my way up to the top of the wig. Okay, I almost broke my comb. If you said that wig breaks your comb, throw it away. Throw it away. Okay. But next I'm gonna take my handy dandy washer bowl. Um, I'm gonna use this to let it sit in. So definitely if you can find yourself a nice container to put your wig in to let it sit in, that's definitely gonna help. I'm just gonna be going in with some shampoo. This is the Shimmer Lights Toner Shampoo. And no, I'm not toning the wig, but this is, I don't really use the shampoo that often and I don't wanna use my good shampoo. So I'm gonna be using this shampoo just to clean any like dirt or grime off the wigs and then I'm gonna come back with my secret ingredient, y'all. Okay, it's not that secret, but you know. I'm gonna come back with the special ingredient. So I just got some lukewarm water running and I'm gonna take the wig and just get it nice and wet. I'm gonna grab my bowl, place the wig inside the bowl. I'm gonna cut the water off real quick and take my shampoo. And just get the shampoo going. And like I said, the shampoo is really for cleaning the wig, so I do wanna make sure I get inside of the cap, inside of there, and make sure that I'm cleaning it. I'm just gonna massage that into All right, you guys, so I let the hair soak a little bit in the shampoo, and I'm just going to squeeze all of the water out. So that way I can go ahead and rinse the shampoo out of the hair. And next, I'm gonna go in with some washing powder. And I would suggest using either some washing powder with some fabric softener in there because that will also help too. But I'm just going to take a little bit of the washing powder and soak the wig in this as well. And as I'm feeling the wig, it does feel a whole lot different than it did before. And I just also wanna give y'all a close up on this part. Like, look how popping that part is. So this is what the wig is looking like and I must say I did do a good job as y'all can see it's nice and flowy I can run my fingers right through it and I'm just gonna turn around so y'all can see that she is back alive back moving just look at it nice and thick and full only thing I did was I ran the flower run through it on Love and yeah. So that's all it is to it, y'all. You can't even tell me this look like the same wig from earlier. So I'm loving it. All right, y'all. That is all for today's weaves and wigs Wednesday. I hope you all enjoyed this video and definitely learned something new, and you are able to save that synthetic wig. And if you really like this video and enjoyed it, leave me a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on, so that way you can stay up to date on all of the new videos that I have coming out on my channel. And y'all know what to do: stay beautiful, stay blessed, and stay popping. And I'll catch y'all in my next video. Bye. Bye.